Hello everybody, today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to um, unlock YFT files for Grand Theft Auto V. Um, I'd like to start this off by saying uh, this tutorial is only for people who have, say, had a car that they were working on, exported the file, um, locked of course, and had the project file, the Z3D, um, somehow get corrupted or be unusable. Um, you should not. Uh, unlock anybody else's vehicle files without permission first from them. Uh, so just keep in mind you should only be using this for um, personal projects. So, <clears throat> first thing we need to do, I'm just going to start off right from the basics. If you already have some of this stuff done, you can just uh, skip along and uh, find the part that's relevant to you. Um, first, you want to install CodeWalker, obviously. That's what you're going to need to be using to unlock your YFT files. Um, so you need to get that from the CodeWalker Discord. I will link that in the description. Uh, and it's in the hashtag releases channel. You want to download the latest version. So I have a tutorial folder here. Let me just drag it over. So let's see, I'll have my vehicle files here. Um, and obviously the Z3D to show you the car. Uh, obviously, in this case, we say these are locked, and they are. Um, and this has been corrupted, so this is no longer usable. We don't have a .back file or anything, so we can't get the model back. So, again, that's what this is for. So once you download the latest release from the CodeWalker releases section, you have this zip file. Mine says CodeWalker 30 Dev 31. Uh, this will depend on the version that you get, basically. Open up the zip. See, these are all the CodeWalker files you want to drag this folder into wherever you want CodeWalker to be. Um, I'm just going to set up a new CodeWalker for the sake of this tutorial, just so you guys can see. So I'll put this on my desktop, obviously you guys can put it wherever. So. What you're going to be wanting to use for this tutorial is the RPF Explorer. So you're going to want to go into the folder, find this. I made a shortcut for it to make it easier to get into. It's basically like OpenIV, but better in many ways. Um, so you're going to want to open this up. You see this popped up on my other screen. Auto detected game folder, XD maps, yada, 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 yada. Continue with auto detected folder. If this is your Correct folder, then say yes. If not, click no one. I'm assuming you can set it manually. Um, again, here's this. Remember GTA folder. Click OK. Successfully change GTA folder to blah, 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 blah. So, <clears throat> wait for this to open up. All right, I'll delete this. I was messing with this earlier. Start fresh. And recovery project directory is not empty. Okay. Get this. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So it starts off like this in your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder you see here. Uh, edit mode turned off. So, first thing you want to do is turn on edit mode. I cannot stress this enough. You need to have edit mode on for this to work, otherwise, it's not going to work properly. So, you turn on edit mode, right click. Uh, and the empty space here, new folder, and you can call this. I will call it GTA 5 Recover Corrupt Project because that's what we're doing today. So you get your folder here. You want to go inside of that, right click, new RPF archive. This is important, otherwise, CodeWalker will be a little bit buggy. I'm not sure if Dexy has fixed this issue yet. But for the time being, I recommend creating an R RPF file, call it something. Uh, it doesn't matter what it's called. I just named the file properly just for ease of access. This is obviously part of this, so I don't really need to know what this is. Um, then you want to go into there. So first of all, I'll show you. Open up Zmonitor. It's going to open up on my other monitor. Um, so this is the vehicle. I guess to show you that this is going to work, this is my Durango that I've uh, fixed and added police lights on. Um, it is obviously working in the Z3D, but obviously we're pretending that 
has crashed. Um, desktop tutorial. All right, so we're gonna try to import this. Obviously, it doesn't work, right? So our vehicle files are locked, and we don't have our Z3D. So how are we gonna get them back? Well, uh, minimize Z modeler. <coughs> Go back to the Code Walker window and get your vehicle files. I recommend using the the non-high YFT, um, because this uh, holds all the LOD uh, information and the window breaking and stuff like that. So this has by far more information than this. Although, sometimes you do have to get both of these. If you export the model um, as you have the high, high would always be normal. You can always count on that for giving you the best quality model. It won't have the glass breaking stuff uh, and etc. But this file can be better than the high, but it can also be a hindrance to you. So if you export it with the highest LOD turned off on this file, say if you have a really large vehicle and the LODs are just too big to accommodate the high model as well, to stay under 16 megs for 5M, um, you will need to grab both of them. So I will do that in this case. So just gonna drag all this in here. Drag the YTD, because why not? Um gonna open it up. It's gonna look like this probably. I've had it work like maybe once or twice before where the textures weren't all screwed up. But you see here's the car. That's what we want. So once we have it in here, we're gonna select it, right click, export XML, or you can do control S, I guess. Desktop tutorial. Okay, so we're going to wait for it to export. It's going to take like a few seconds. Mine might be faster than yours because I'm on an SSD. Just give it time. So you see it's a XML now. So if we open this with Notepad and I drag this over here, what's happening here? There we go. Got my other thing open. All right, so this is what this looks like. So you can see all the information here. Obviously, it's decrypted, so you can you know, edit it, open source now. That's why it's so big, because it's not encrypted. So, what we're gonna wanna do, right click, import XML. You're gonna wanna go tutorial, um, 2018 Durango LB YFT XML. Double click that, you know, wait for it for a little bit. You see this file size is going to jump up once it's done. Or actually down, or is that up? I don't know. Wasn't paying attention. No, that was down. So this file now should be unlocked. You drag this in here, replace the old one. You have your YTD and everything. Go into Z Modeler, import, get your file, import. You see it's coming in here. And there you are. There's your unlocked file. And make sure to save it and make many, many backups so you don't have to do this again. Um, yeah, so Durango, uh, I can't type, Durango, save, and go into the fucking folder, and make a copy of it, <laughs> called backup, because you don't want to have to be doing this too often. So there you go, now you have recovered your, um long lost project that you can't get access back into so i hope you guys uh, found this video useful slash helpful and enjoyed it um if you have any issues i'd recommend uh first and foremost asking in the comments uh, if i can't help you i will direct you to the code walker discord uh, if you have any issues with the code walker side of things if you have any issues with z modeler i'm not 100 percent sure some of the versions don't like to import these files properly. I know the very latest version does, and um, 3.2.0 does, and anything before that does. I don't know about in between, if there's any sub-versions between 3.2.0 and 0.1. But, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys uh, got you set of this, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.